why there is a completely viable alternative to cold messages on LinkedIn. I want you to imagine that you're in a city, right? And let's imagine there's a person across the road from you, right? And you want to sell this person your coaching and consulting services. It's just a normal everyday in a city where people are a bit scared of being approached and they're not used to strangers coming up to them. And, and you go up to this person and say, would you like to buy my coaching cons services or how's your business going? You wouldn't even know if this person had a business just from looking at this individual, right? Sure, we might be able to get some clues about this individual based on his clothes, the type of mobile phone they are using. If we can see their car, we can get some indicators of if they're a high net worth individual or not. But ultimately, this doesn't tell us much about if an individual is in the market for any B2B service. Let's replay the scenario. Let's imagine we're in the same city and we see this individual and they've got a mobile phone. How much easier would it be to approach that individual if we could see what they are doing on their mobile phone, what sort of content they are engaging with. Maybe if we knew who they were following, that would tell us a lot more about that individual. Because here's the thing, right? You've got cold leads on one end of the continuum. At the other end, we've got hot leads. It's not either or. There's a whole continuum, right? What else would we know about this individual? The content they are posting, what they are writing. If we knew all this information about the individual, it would be a lot easier to go up to them and start a conversation conversation. Now let's take that a level deeper. Let's imagine if we had even more information about this individual. And let's imagine we knew which college they went to. Let's imagine we knew what language they speak. Let's imagine we knew where they were working for their last four jobs. It would be easier to go and, and, and start a conversation, right? And let's just say we were able to jump over and, and do some like spy stuff, like some James Bond stuff or Tom Cruise Mission Impossible, abseil down the ceiling and see their screen and see that they were following Brené Brown and see that they were commenting on posts about growing a business. Maybe w another individual we go down with seeing that they're Grant Cardone and it's about hard closing and any level of interest is interest. It's, it's two polar opposites. Let's say we investigated which college they went to. We discovered they went to the same college as ourselves. If we had this information, it would be a lot easier to go up to this individual and say, hey, I, I saw you went to Aston University and, and studied business. And oh, by the way, I'm, I'm a fan of meditation. I loved your comment on the um, post that Brenny Brown put out there the other day. That would be a lot easier to approach that individual if we know who they are, right? The, the default approach to LinkedIn seems to be, they go on the platform, they go to Sales Navigator, and they send the same message to everyone, and then once in a while, someone puts their hand up, right? It's a really inefficient and time-consuming way to do LinkedIn. Not only is it time-consuming and inefficient, it destroys the brand. Who watching this video enjoys getting solicited for business with and just pitched all day, every day? Let's look at the way to do LinkedIn without cold messaging. If we think about every LinkedIn LinkedIn profile, the information contained within a LinkedIn profile is the equivalent of abseiling down a building, looking at someone's mobile phone to see what they're doing. And it's even more powerful than that. It's like hacking into their computer. We can form an opinion about what possibly they're thinking about because as Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows, right? And this tells us where they're focusing. And we can even cross-reference and find by using what I call search stacking, we can find people that went to the same college as me or worked at the same businesses as me that are interested in the same people as me. What is the probability of a conversation successfully starting with that individual compared to just going cold? I can tell you from experience with hundreds of clients, it is significantly higher. So going back to this continuum of cold messaging versus hot messaging, at one end, we have cold. That is Sales Navigator. Sales Navigator for prospecting, getting qualified calls. It's like 5% of LinkedIn, but it's all that everybody seems to know. We don't even need to go on Sales Navigator. We're able to consistently get calls in the calendar. So the, what we've learned from this is that on LinkedIn, there really is no need 
for cold messaging until you've done a good amount of time on the platform, until you've explored all these filters. And even then, I've got people in the program that haven't even had to use Sales Navigator and cold messages to get calls in the calendar. If you are stuck here in cold messaging, if you are working with someone that is telling you to go to Sales Navigator and post content, and that is the only way that they are able to teach LinkedIn, what they are teaching is a tactic. That is a tactic. And it is something that works sometimes and doesn't work other times. What we have just described with the cold messaging, it is the skill set of building relationships because building relationships is where the best business comes from.